in Kanban also when we say there is no scrum master role, it's called as an agile coach role. And uh, there's an agile coach who actually explains us which type of format to use. So how do you differentiate between these two? Because the if I see the industry, when they ask for the roles, they ask for the scrum one, I mean, sorry, scrum master or an agile coach. They don't, they don't understand the difference that agile code is just a word used in Kanban. Okay. But when, so when now, the roles now, and responsibilities are there, it is like an agile coach where it has to tell you for four to five teams, which ro- which uh, framework to follow. Okay, so how great. do you differentiate and understand that? So see the, title role and real role is is real action is always different now whenever you see a title called scrum master the title may do many things which is which are beyond scrum guide and though at least the scrum role was well defined in scrum uh, guide but it was also in an ideal scrum implementation and this is how all the roles should be there and this is how scrum master operate now what if in reality you don't have someone who is really behaving like a product owner but you are expected to do a scrum master role so your real execution role might be very different uh, and it varies based on the context it will have some element of a scrum role but more and more things beyond that now agile coach incidentally there is no guide which defines this is how the agile coach would be so it is a label which is given to into people in a multiple situation there is no clear cut standard for it so there are many times when the person is doing program management and large delivery he has been given title as agile coach that since you are taking care of 10 scrum teams we call it you an agile coach many times the person who is responsible for transforming organization from one way of working to another way of working he works with a different different team he educate them help them to come up with a new way of working uh, resolve the mindset issues help the people to understand their new role is also an agile coach we, we many times we call him a transformation coach uh, but he's still an agile coach there are some permanent agile coach who are process guys who keep collecting information from different different teams they keep mentoring and educating them and and they are more or less like process champion and many times those guys are also called uh, uh, agile coach so it's difficult to tell what is agile coach without getting into the details of it so we need to understand what are the roles and responsibility that role is carrying yeah so scrum master role may also become an agile case role in in many uh, organization they may tag uh, that way now as far as kanban is concerned kanban does not promote any role label because the idea of a kanban is that we we don't want to make people uncomfortable so we work with whatever is there already so if your organization is having scrum master already we work with that scrum master role and we implement with with the kanban you keep doing what you are doing but you ensure that flow is moving and everything is visualized and things are moving at a, at a faster pace if your organization is already having a project manager role they may continue with the project manager role and over a period of time, you may have a new role or definition emerging, but uh, uh, Kanban uh, uh, as a method, they don't promote any specific title. So that's, that's how uh, it is. Yeah. And when you said that, okay, you start somewhere, then you inspect and then you adapt. And then there is a, there is a good amount of time get wasted. And, and that is the reason many organization hires agile coaches who are expected to have that experience so that they don't let teams fail multiple times before they really learn it so how do we succeed early that's the whole part of agile coach job you know how do i make teams succeed early rather than fail faster anyway they will do because even without agile coach they will fail yeah, and they will learn by their own failure but how can we make them succeed now there is a new uh, I, I, I won't say new it's old like i have been teaching it for more than five years but there is a new way of looking at it which is kind of a knowledge base of agile thing and this is something is coming with the help of discipline agile delivery so i just give you a preview of it so there is a website you can go to uh, pmi.org slash discipline agile you can see it here we will also put a description of this uh, video so pmi.org slash discipline agile and they are talking about more or less these issues that okay uh, uh, that's the problem they do see that you know organization starts with something and then they end up learning as they move forward so they have a good freely available content which can help you to succeed early because it is helping you to see various patterns which may work which may fail yeah so they are giving you that advanced information and the the thing which we were talking about how do we decide the software development context and i was talking about some filters these are the the six filters they they work on 
that in order to decide what kind of a process will work like uh, team size small team to large team so if you in general i am just giving a brief here in general if you fall in an inner circle agile kind of pure scrum based processes might be good for you if you start following under external circle like 250 members global time zones different different organization coming together life critical projects so more and more structured and process and compliances things will start coming uh, into your uh, way of working so it is difficult to tell this way of working will work Uh, uh perfectly in a different uh, different situations so we we have I, i like discipline agile delivery because it talks about that you need to make choices and we are not saying that experiment and learn you can learn based on existing knowledge base and then you can experiment and learn anyway so that's the the good thing so you may want to uh, check even if you don't use the discipline agile delivery name because some of the people who might be interviewing you for a scrum master role may just want to hear scrum word from you they don't want to hear anything else from you but the ideas which you pick up from this you may present them and says these are the possible ways to explore and understand various dimensions and i believe those ideas will anyway hold value name discipline agile may hold value may not hold value it depends upon the receiving organization some organization may like it some may not yes, yes.